Hello there everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armel and I own the Stock Swoosh. I thought I would review the tracking results from November and October, two very solid months. If you have more questions for me and you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can also watch me on Fox Business Network or Fox News where I discuss stocks and the market. On a regular basis. In order to be successful day trading, what do you need to do? Chunk it out. Day trade. You take it trade by trade, day by day. For example, today there wasn't anything to do. And some days you have that in the market. You, you really have to look at every day as an individual person and you look at it and if you don't look at it like that, there's a potential that you can have a loss. So you really have to look at it day by day, week by week, month by month, chunk it out to get your whole year, to get the results that you want. Because some days will be huge. So it's, it's not necessary to fight it if the market isn't giving it to you, which there really wasn't anything there today. So what do I do? I follow the Golden Gap system, which is a system that I myself created. And if you wanted to come and learn my method, that's what you'd learn. You'd learn the Golden Gap 26 points. So going back, gosh, it seems a long time ago now, but it was only two months ago, October 2nd. I was on TV, TV Day Off, 10-3, TTS, 1,500 profit, TIVA, 3,000 profit, 10-5, no trades. 10-6 was cost. That was a good one, 1,100. And that was a solid, solid week to start off of October. 5,600 profit for the week. Kosh then again, 10-9, 3,400, Dow, 625. HDSM was a loser. Walmart was a nice, strong winner in 10-11, 2,800 profit. 10-12 was JPM, which was a loser. And Tiva, nice, good one on Tiva. That's been a great short, 1,800 profit. 10-13, TV day off, total for the week, 65.25. That's a great week. Again, one or two good trades can actually can make your week. 10-16, Spy was a loser. Apple was a winner, 2,800. Hog was a loser on 10-17. NWY was a nice, solid gap, 2440. Spy was a loser, 10-18. IBM was a amazing gap, 3,400 profit. 10-19 was Apple, 3,285. 10-20, Gene was a loser. And CLG, 2,800 winner. So that was a nice, strong, positive week, third week of October, 11,205. And again, you have to... Be very specific with what you're doing. Be very focused. I usually do one trade a day, but sometimes I might do two. The more you trade, the more you are at risk of losing. So I say, you know, condense it. One, two. I mean, if, if I'm doing three things, I'm probably not having a good day, to be honest with you. So I try to stick it to the one. 1023, Matt was a nice one. 1250. 1024, G was a loser. Loji was a loser. Matt, break even. That was a losing day. Turned it around, 1025. Juniper was a loser, huge winner in AMD, 6300, 1026 CLG, 1400 loser, CLG a second trade, 6700. Big, big move for CLG. If you go back and look at the gap, 1026, 6000 plus on that day. And I will tell you that going back, I'm like, the first trade actually was a winner. I just missed the exit because I felt 100% conviction it would have a big move on the day, which it did. You know, so again, when you're day trading, you've got to take it, get the move, and get out. But ended up really hammering it that day. Held the conviction. 1027 TV day off. Nice week. 9,350. 1030 MRK winner. 900. 1031 UA was a loser. QCon was a winner. Two trades in that. October total 35,080. And that's, you know, a really solid, solid month. Going into November, DDD. 1200, 112 TV day off, 113 was on radio, did Fox Radio. That was an interesting experience. It was it was fun, actually. And then going into the next week, 116, no trades on Monday. Typically the slowest trading day of the week. 117 trip, 3960, 118 snap, 1640. That was a good gap. I actually could have held that longer. 11.9 AMD, 1,050. There's that AMD showed up again. 11.10 Disney, 15.75. And again, November was one of those months where you say, i got to be really careful because you know there's a holiday. 11.13, no trades. 11.14, no trades. 
1115 target, nice one. 5700, 1116. VIAB was a loser, I cut it short, 500 loss. And w WMT was a winner, 1875 and 1920. And then the Friday 1117, unfortunately, WSM did not work out for the morning, although on the day it ended up being a good short. Didn't go after it again, lost. Ross was a loser, but on the daily chart, guess what? That continue was really a better swing trade. But took a loss as a day trade on that. 1020 through 1020, uh, I mean 1120 through 1127, the room was closed. Had off for Thanksgiving and was on TV one of the days. And it's nice to take a week off. And the market was also very slow, low volume, not a lot to do. Stocks were hardly trading. People take holiday. 1128 Momo was a good one. Total profit on the day in Momo was 4,080. 1129 was, I was on TV, TV day off. And 11.30, SPY was really a great call. Uh, that was just probably actually looking back now was one of the best calls of November because it was such an impossible call to call. And it was a long, which is really funny uh, because I do prefer to short. So 5,700 profit on the SPY. So total for November, 26,600. October, November training results, 61,680. And we just started December today. So we'll see what December brings. If you're interested in learning my method and trading and getting the live calls that I give daily in the room, the entry, the stop, the exit, the targets, the support resistance, my morning picks, you can take my class. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. The class is online. And when I, when I say strategically, that's the most important point here because I'm honing in on what I'm doing every morning. Remember, you know, being prepared is key. So if you take two hours to prepare and you're only in the train for five minutes, chances of you making a lot of money in that five minutes is huge because you did all the preparation beforehand. The more prep work you do before you trade, I'm telling you right now, the better you're gonna trade, the more money you're gonna make, and the less time you're gonna to have to invest in the trade. And the less time you're in a trade, the less you're at risk, which is another positive thing about trading gaps, because I'm in and out usually very, very quickly. There were several trains that were longer holds over the course of the last two months, but it's rare, okay? It's rare. And if I would hold something, it's only because I have 100% conviction it's going to go to a bigger number, so it makes it worth it. Anyways, last class of 2017. If you want to learn my method and trade with me all of 2018, and I would suggest you do, December 16th and 17th, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $4,999. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you want to sign up. And I'm this, look at that. I'm going to go see this. Um, I already went there during the day. This is Saks Fifth Avenue. Amazing Snow White and Seven Dwarfs display going on right now. It's a light display. I'm doing a special for the holidays. New York is such a great time. Uh, a great place to be during the holidays. If you sign up for the Golden Gap course by Friday, December 7th, and receive the Socks with Show training room and the options letter free for one year. So it's a savings of over six grand if you want to do it. Empower yourself to trade the market. And if you'd like a trial, because the offer is going through Friday of next week, one solid week I'm giving for the holiday special. To sign up, you can email me. If you really are serious and you want to learn my method, email me at info at thestockswoosh.com for a trial. I will tell you that, you know, you should observe if you're coming for a trial. If you traded before and you want to do my calls in the next week, okay, fine. But you're really not going to know what to do until you do the class. And that's why every person that's in the trading room is a Golden Gap course student. I think it's important to know what you're doing before you actually trade. So anyways, have a great day, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you on Fox on Monday morning, and I will see you next week in the live trading room. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com for more information.